welcome back to my channel i'm finally back with another video and today i'm going to be talking about my experience after having the marina iud removed so let's start back when i had it removed like i said in my last video i had to have it surgically removed because it was embedded in my uterus so i went in for surgery april 18th i'll never forget that day 2019 i was terrified because i've never had a major surgery before it wasn't major but i had to be put under um general anesthesia so that was pretty scary for me i've never had that done except for getting my wisdom teeth pulled if that counts that was a big deal for me Went into surgery i was terrified and i did not know what to expect but it was it was simple it was easy it only took 45 minutes and i felt like i was in and out of course because i was put to sleep i i felt like i was in and out and they success, successfully removed my morena um so after that after the surgery um, recovery was not that bad. I did not need any like strong narcotics or anything to recover from the surgery. All I needed was about three days of bed rest. And thank God my husband was around because he was able to help me in and out of the bed. That was difficult because our bed is pretty high. And um, I needed help like in and out of the bed to go to the bathroom because I was very crampy down there. So he helped a ton. Um, was very tired I, I don't think all of the anesthesia had worn off so i was very tired but other than that it was it was pretty it was pretty good it felt like a normal period just i was bleeding way heavier than normal so first i want to talk about the cons that came with having the morena iud removed first i did go through the morena crash and it was pretty much like flu symptoms along with a panic attack <laughs> i was having major anxiety i was having a panic attack i feel like it was hard for me to breathe um and then i also had very strong flu symptoms i had a very sore throat i had a very high temperature my temperature was about 102.3 and i was vomiting and sweating and it was awful and this lasted about three days I consider that my Miranda crash because it just came out of nowhere. Like I literally woke up one day and was sick. No, like I didn't feel myself getting sick. It just like I woke up and had the flu. <laughs> so that was my experience with the Miranda crash. Another con I had after having the Mirena IUD removed was water retention. I still had a lot of water retention. It was easier for me to lose the weight, but as soon as I would eat something else or fall off a little bit, I would gain it right back, like fast. And um, that was kind of discouraging, but I guess that, that was just my experience with having it removed. I thought it would be like my um, metabolism would go back to how it was before, but it didn't, which is understandable because I think it takes about six months to a year for all of the um, hormones from the Mirena to exit the body. Also, I had inconsistent periods after having the Mirena removed, removed. Some days it was 28 days, some days it was 31, some days it was 36. Um, so in April, when I had the surgery, that I considered that my first period. And then I ended up having a period 26 days after that. And then after that, I ended up going like 37 days without a period. So it was taking my body some time to get back on its regular flow because when I had the Mirena in, it was some months I would go without a period, some months I would have a one day period, some months I would have a regular um, five day cycle. So my body was still trying to figure that part out. Also, I had suffered two early miscarriages. They both were at about five and six weeks. And I did a lot of research and I think, well, 
I'm pretty sure, I'm about 100% sure that it was because I had low progesterone from the Mirena. The Mirena suppresses your progesterone hormone, so I'm pretty sure that's what caused my early miscarriages because once I had my progesterone tested, it was extremely low. So my husband and I had no problem getting pregnant. The problem was staying pregnant. My body could get pregnant, but it could not hold on to a preg pregnancy because my body was not naturally pro producing progesterone. Um, so that was a very difficult time. I, I would say that was the hardest part of the Mirena removal. Um, I would that's one of the main reasons I would not recommend it to anyone, especially someone who does not have children. I have no children. I have no living children currently. So um, I would. that's one of the reasons I would not advise anyone to get the Mirena because it's kind of screws with your reproductive health. And it's not for everyone, but in my, in my situation, that's what happened with me. It really screwed with my progesterone levels. Now let's get to the pros because it was not all bad. Um, my hair, so when I had the Mirena inserted in me, my hair was very thin and anytime I would comb it, brush it, anything, it would fall out in like clumps. And my, I'm natural, so that's devastating. <laughs> you know, like that's devastating. So once the Mirena was out, almost instantly, my hair was shedding a lot less and it became a lot thicker and it just seemed more healthy like I had a lot more movement and body to it it held on to moisture more easy like oh my gosh it made I don't know it, when I had the Mirena in my hair was just like unmanageable hard to comb through barely didn't want to comb through it because it will come out so now it's so much better and like I said previously I am able to lose weight with um, without the Mirena. It's just you have to be very consistent and have a strict, strict diet until you get to a comfortable place where you're comfortable with your weight because one day it can completely throw you off. But it was, the weight was coming off like clockwork, which I was so happy about because when I was on my weight loss journey with the Mirena, it was discouraging because it was taking some time. It was like, taking a very long time just to see the scale move a little bit or to see my inches come, because I was taking inch, inches around my stomach measurements and doing scale measurements too. So it was hard not seeing those changes and keep going, but um, it, it I was able to do that when the Mirena was taken out. Another pro of having the Mirena removed was that I was no longer as tired when I woke up and and no longer as sluggish, depressed feeling, feeling like the, the weight is on my shoulders because when I woke up, I was determined to get things done. I was excited to start my day. When I had the Mirena, it was like, it, it felt like the world was on my shoulders and I could not accomplish anything. But once I had it removed, I had a lot more energy which was fantastic and i think the best part of having the Mirena removed was that i was able to start my ttc journey my husband and i were able to finally start creating our family although we did have some bumps in the road we are now pregnant i am now six months pregnant with our first baby girl and i cannot wait to take you guys along with the journey I am currently in her nursery and I plan on doing a nursery tour once her room is completely finished. I am a huge perfectionist, so I don't know if it will ever be finished in my eyes, but once I feel like it's okay to show, I will show you guys her nursery and do what's in my hospital bag, what's in my diaper bag. I can't wait to film those videos. So that's the most rewarding part of taking the Marina out is that now I can start my family. Um, and like I said, Marina did his job in preventing pregnancy because when I first had it inserted, I was very young. I was not ready to start a family, so it was great. But now I am, and the Marina's gone, and it was hard in the beginning, but we we got there. And I cannot wait to talk to you guys about my TTC journey, what I did to have this pregnancy get this far along, 
what I did, what I'm currently doing, and just some encouraging words that I can give you guys because I know it can be very discouraging. So I can't wait to tell you what I did to um, make it this far in my pregnancy because like I said, I had two very early miscarriages. They were four and five weeks. So I've never made it to six months and <laughs> this is such a blessing to me. I want to cry, every <laughs> I'm going to get emotional, but I want to cry every day. I feel her move or she reminds me that she's there. It's the best feeling in the world. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, stay tuned for more videos. I'm excited to start this journey. Like I said, I'm pregnant. <laughs> so now I'm very tired. Um, I'm in my second trimester and they say, oh, your energy comes back in your second trimester. I still can't, where is it? I can't find my energy at all. So I'm, I'm happy that I'm finally able to get another video out and I plan on getting many, many more. So make sure you subscribe so you can come along on this journey with us. Um, my husband does plan on <laughs> recording our labor, um, if God permits, he will. But thank you for watching.